I am John Verrill, and I play Evan and LARPs the series. You're listening to the LARP Book Podcast. Welcome to the LARP Book Podcast. This is episode 33, Tuesday, 3rd of May, 2016. Let me just turn that music down just a little tad more, because it sounds a little bit loud in my ears. <laughs> All right, on today's show, we've got an interview with LARP House. We've got with us uh, Cheyenne Rain and Anthony Belisario. Tom hello. is... Hello, hello. Uh, Tom is going to squeal like a little girl. And tonight's episode is brought to you by LARPIN at larpin.co.uk for everything you could possibly need for your LARPing needs. Some of that rhymes somewhere, not quite sure where. So let's get cracking straight on with the show. I am your host, Stuart Edwards, and with me, as always, the much bearded one, Thomas of the Busby clan. Hi, Tom. Hi, hi. <laughs> and uh, with me, ever, ever with me on many things that I do in life and everything else, it's almost like we're married, Rob. It's Robert <laughs> the Long Haired One Davis. Hello. Here's <laughs> <laughs> a bit, yes. And of course, uh, Cheyenne Rain and Anthony Bellasario, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's fantastic okay. to have you guys on. Um, we've been catching up on all of the stuff that you do, uh, you which is um, awesomely awesome uh, and very well put together, I must say. You oh, actually. You I have Anthony to thank for that mostly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. I must be honest. I watched the um, the first one. Um, what is LARP? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I thought, yeah, you actually explained, especially uh, what we definitely want to talk tonight. Yeah, is how the uh, USA LARP scene and everything else uh, differs from the UK LARP scene because you do things like Boffer and stuff and what have you. Yeah. Yes. We do. Um, but before yeah. we get into all of that, tell us all all about larp house and what you do well i mean gosh what what don't we do um <laughs> well obviously we we make video tutorials and we have video discussions about i mean i call them larp theory yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh, just you know the talky bits and then we do uh crafting tutorials makeup tutorials for people to help make their experience more immersive up the quality of their makeup and props and things like that in an easy yeah. and hopefully a more affordable way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And then for those who uh, don't want to necessarily go through the process of creating everything, we sell some of the stuff pre-done as well. Yes. Excellent. Well, that's on your Etsy page, yeah? Yes. Yeah. We sell everything on our Etsy page, um, prosthetics and masks mostly for now, but we're going to branch out into weapons once, uh, once I get my, um, Injection molding equipment. Super excited about that. Oh, cool. I, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Because everybody Not loves fun. everybody loves a good injection molding. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> See, like I just said it, you made it dirty. That's all I'm gonna say, Tom. All right. <laughs> so, so you're gonna get in, in injection molding machines. You, you, you obviously must have like probably 3D printers and stuff, and all the who hickey. No, actually, it's <gasps> just me sculpting. Wow. For the moment. For the moment. So you're oh, sculpting wow. now, and then later on, molding machines, and possibly then other things in the future? Yes, hopefully. We're, so, our, our budget is small right now, but it's growing. No, so yeah. so, so you're even more, more talented than, than at first you led on to believe. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there is no doubt about that. Um, yes. I'm a little bit good at a lot of things. I wouldn't say that I'm a master of anything at all, ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, hey, well, welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah. You know, Thank right. you. We, we do a podcast purely because I said, hey, let's do a podcast. Um, <laughs> because I wanted to learn how to do podcasts. End of story. Um, uh, that's literally how we started doing the videos. Like, hey. Yeah. I feel like doing this. Let's start it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it is. It, 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 I think. Good idea. I think, to be honest with you, many fantastic things have started from. I wonder if. If. 
exactly. <laughs> or how do we do this? You know, and bump off it, off it goes, um, etc. Yeah, so kind of like once the idea occurred to us, it's like, why haven't we already been doing this for years? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we've been we've been running the the LARP book page for how many years, Rob? Five, yeah, uh, two or three years now. It started off as an experiment. Just can we do? Can we make a website? Oh, we can. And they just kept, didn't stop. Yeah, you know. And then, then, then I said, let's let's do a podcast. And, and Rob went, why? No, he said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this, you know, same thing from there. So, um, let's talk a little bit about how USA LARP differs from UK LARP. Right, because I would say in this country, I would say it is predominantly. Um, you did give it a term um, where it's foam injected uh, swords, etc., and mm. what have you. I've got my axe behind me, if you want. Yeah. I've got my axe. I've well, got my axe. You know, it's a very nice axe. Like this. I mean- an American hears of European LARP as one hears of a legend. Like, it changes a little bit with every person who talks about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You hear about how nobody shows up without a period-accurate tent and how all of their weapons <laughs> are, are realistic. I think that's the Nordic LARP, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, Nordic LARP especially. Yeah. Um, it, I, honestly, it just... <laughs> Just to sum it up in a term, it seems like American LARPs are a little less hardcore and a little bit more um, fantasy focused, almost. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I'd say there's a lot of fantasy goes on in UK and Europe. I mean, the biggest LARP I know is Dragonfest, and that's thousands of thousands of people uh, doing fantasy stuff. Yeah. When we were first starting, well, when I was at least, um, I was looking at videos on YouTube, and there was a guy who was from America, and he would go to. Dragon Fest, I think it's called, right? And yeah. Yeah. I would just see all those people, like thousands of people in full plate and everything yeah. else. And, yeah. Oh my gosh. But yeah, you you don't see stuff like that here. I mean, not not in um not in such a large volume. Hmm. Yeah. For sure. That 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 is interesting. You know, you you'd think with with um with a country per capita of many more people, uh, that you would see bigger LARPs. I mean, why why do you think it, it it's so different in America where, you know, like uh, they use boffers and it's not all like guy in full plate just to get a cup of tea, uh, you know, where well, do you have any idea why you think it's it's slightly different in America than it is in Europe? Um, for for me personally, I think I mean, full plate armor is not really a part of America's history. Okay. Mm. We're a very young yeah. country, and and those costumes and and the the weapons and everything they are very much a part of European history. Yeah. We don't have the oh, yeah. historical background. We don't have many people making replicas of those things for LARP here because there's no historical basis for it in America. That's why we get when I say like American LARP is more fantasy related. I don't mean like more fantastical. I mean kind of. It's just different. Like you have mm. fantasy based very much in history, and we have a lot of like our fantasy based in history is World War Two fairy tales. Like that's the kind <laughs> of crazy we go for here. You know? I that's, that's a really good. Point. I've never thought of it like that. We got a really good. Point. I mean, we forget yeah. how rich our history is. I mean, just where we live in the area that we live. Uh, well, just you know, we live in sort of South Wales near the borders, and that's one of the richest areas in UK and possibly Europe for the remains of old castles. Yeah. Yeah, remains of old yes. castles. Oh. We, we have a stone floor <laughs> way up castles. past from a ruin. <laughs> yeah, and, and a burial ground and, you know, all oh. those sorts Hill of things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's like, that would be a pilgrimage for an American airport. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're generally in, like, state parks and, uh, yeah. and like, even local parks inside the middle mm. of the super urban environment sometimes we get log yeah. cabins you know oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it. yeah when you like super fancy we get uh paintball courses yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and and to be honest with you you know i i can see that you know now that you said that we yeah okay our history does does go back quite a way 
Um, but again, you know, we, I would say the predominant amount of LARPs here are fantasy based, so Lord of the Ringsy style, um, elves and dwarves and, and, and all the rest of it, um, with a good smattering of science fiction, uh, steampunk. Yeah, good smattering of steampunk. Uh, um, good so smattering of post, post apocalypse is now becoming the big yeah. trendy thing. Yeah, horror. You know, um, a good smattering of those. But I would, I would say predominantly, you, you you look at the groups and it's basically your copper plate, Lord of the Ringsy style, um, elves and dwarves and goblins and stuff. Um, if but, you could see the wistful look on my face. As it's you pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if you turned your camera on, then they, we would have. But, uh, <laughs> I, we can, I don't care. <laughs> okay. uh, is the camera coming on? Is the camera it's coming on? on. Da, 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 oh, yeah. There. The yay. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you both. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, so, you know, it is it is predominantly that, to be honest with you. You know, it's, um, uh, but we, I say, I, I suppose, I mean, with, uh, all right, Rob, think about it. So some, some of the places okay. that we do LARP, um, the, the different castles, the different, um, mm -hmm. stately homes, things like that, that have yeah. hosted like pff, so many different types of LARP, whether well, it be, you know, yeah, the Rings, the horror. Well, we've Sorry, I've been talking about you. Go ahead. No, you know, Lord of the Lord of the Rings, the horror, you name it, um, everything from banquets to well, whatever you yeah. like, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, we we, we are. I mean, yes, we're lucky. I mean, we've just taken up uh, using the wilderness again, which was is a George Georgian house. Yeah, Georgian, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's George, it's a Georgian. Georgian. It's a Georgian estate house, which we're very lucky to have, and that's seventeen hundreds. Mm. Is it seventeen? No, it's a bit newer than that. A bit what eighteen? Yeah. Oh, okay. That that's the look it we're lucky to have that now, doorstep. Mm. You see, uh, see how we say bit newer than that, eighteen hundreds. Eighteen hundred to us is nothing. <laughs> yeah, just... Hey, well, I'm I'm hoping that. Well, it also, don't forget we are, we are, we've also done quite a few games now at the same Rivals Castle, which is King John's old hunting lodge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you guys are going to have to come over for a LARP, I think. Oh my gosh, that's my dream. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We will make this happen by hook or by crook. Probably Thanks. by crook. Oh, crook. Probably by crook, so. yeah. <laughs> oh no, so. I'm going to be insufferable if I ever get to LARP in a castle and then come yeah. back to America. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, can match up. Can oh match god, up. In, 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 that, in, <laughs> in that case then, we are never going to team you up, up, up. With with Klaus uh, at all because you would never ever 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 want to LARP anywhere else <laughs> because those are Croatian. Um, he hires Croatian castles. No. Oh, Polish. 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 Two apologies, but Polish castles, lock, stock, two smoking barrels that have been converted into hotels. What? Yeah. 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 Uh, the man you want to talk to is, is Klaus Rasted. He's one of the. Uh, top lap role playing organizers from the Nordic countries, yeah. and he's become famous recently for hiring out a lot of different Nordic castles for events. Yeah, a lot Nordic. Very... I mean, Polish castles, yeah, actual Polish castles. castles. He was he was very famous for the Harry Potter one. I think that's probably. Oh, he yeah. did Calarp. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's a. I am I am also a gigantic Harry Potter fan, and uh -oh. I like I get emotional when I talk about how much I want to go to that LARP. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we we can give you his number. <laughs> oh please! Yeah. Oh gosh! It, someone else will have to talk to him for me. It'll just be screaming. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, so right. So you, from what I gather, then you you do a lot of buffer LARP. Yes. Yeah. yeah no. A lot of buff life. We we um we have tricks that we do to make our boffers uh, not ugly. I mean the the image that people get of boffers is the the pool noodle with yeah. like on some PVC, you know. Mm. And, and it's yeah. not that we do yeah. use a lot of like medieval collectibles. We use um like latex weapons, injection molded weapons, and stuff too. It's just the term that stuck with us, really. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Right. Okay. That, that 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 makes a lot of sense, um, and do you have a lot of uh, what what you're calling sort of um, 
combat LARP, which is just basically, you know, last man standing, uh, pretty oh, much. Uh, yeah, yeah, the more battle games, there are, yeah. there are, um, well, I mean, there are two big ones that, and by big ones, I mean that they're kind of like franchises. They're, they're run in multiple parts of the country. It's the okay. same large different people running it. Um, and I believe those are Amptgard and Belagarth. And it's, it's so funny because you, you wouldn't think that there would be kind of like jocks of the LARP world, but there totally are. <laughs> they have code names and everything. And yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's, it's actually a great kind of introduction to LARP if, if you're more yeah, yeah, of yeah. a sporty type. If you, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. It, Basically, if if you play American football, that's for you. Uh, exactly. Pick yeah. up a sword, pick up a shield, wade in. <laughs> yep, pretty much, and it's great because awesome. they have a. It's a separate community from the from the fantasy ball for LARP community, really. But it's still yeah. a community, and yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I think I think the community is one of the big selling points of LARP. You instantly oh. get like so many friends who just accept you unless you're a serial killer. You're like that's really how <laughs> <laughs> well, and she does a mean in game. Yeah, but no. uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, that's a usually a plus right. over in, in in the UK ones. Uh, you know, actually being a serial killer because we can tap into anything that you've done before and use it. So um, you know, we'll we'll take the ideas and run with it. It's, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> but, Robert's shaking his yeah. head. Yeah, no, no, no more serial killers, please. Don't let me be a serial killer again. <laughs> oh, the amount of times we've made Rob a serial killer, I tell you that. Because oh. <laughs> he's he's like he's he's got that sort of Harold Shipman doctor look, so he's he's fine. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> no um, yeah, you've you explained who who Harold Shipman is, Stu. Because uh, oh, I'm I'm sure they translate. I'm sure they get the news over there. Do do do, do you know who Harold Shipman is? Uh, no. Oh, well, there you go then. Uh, so Rob is right. Um, <laughs> remember, Stu, Rob's always yes. right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Harold Shipman, he uh, he basically murdered a whole bunch of people over here. He was a doctor uh, and murdered a bunch of old old people, if I remember rightly, Rob. Yes, that's right. He was, he was, a, do- he was, a, he was a he was a general doctor and he um, he killed an awful lot of his patients. Oh, I did see that. See, oh, see. oh, I did. Mm-hmm. I'm so terrible with names, though. So. Well, that's fine. You know, that's I, fine. <laughs> I often so, yeah. So basically, we're saying Rob looks like a murderer. Yeah. 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 Well, it's okay. Yeah. I pretty much get typecast as the crazy murderess. <laughs> Not no, nothing secret about it. She's got some yeah. good crazy eyes. Yeah. Yo, yeah, oh, she's got the cray cray eyes, is she? Yeah. Yeah. The cray cray eyes. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fight with us. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect role playing eyes. <laughs> and oddly enough, I get usually pegged with a dirty old man. I don't know quite sure how that. Uh... <laughs> I wonder why you don't have that. You get pegged as that. I so. have no idea, Tom. I have no idea. I'm a nice, happy, happy, funny chap. Um, so, the, <laughs> um, so you right? So, so you obviously then decided to start creating YouTube videos on how tos. Why? I mean, why? <laughs> um. Honestly, I just I have my hand in so many in so many different things crafting wise. I make props yeah. for several LARPs. Like they they come to me for props and and makeup and costuming all the time. So I I figured I'm as good a person as any to uh, to organize tutorial how tos. And it, at the very least, if I can't do it, I'll bring in someone who does. Yeah, know how to do yeah. it very well. And yeah, I don't know. I just. I, I I have no problem being on camera, which is um, uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that... Unless you're an actor crowd. Um, yeah. And I just, I like making YouTube videos. I, I did yeah. it for a little while, just stupid, funny videos. And yeah. it's something that's fun. It's something that allows me to uh, put my skills to work. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. she wanted to give back to the community. True, yeah. yeah I, I mean... A lot of people have stories like this. I was going through like a bit of a rough time, a bit of a rough time, and it was like nothing specifically bad happened to me. I just happened to be a person with a whole lot of anxiety, and it was just, <laughs> it, was, it was wrecked, <laughs> wrecked yeah, me yeah, at the yeah. time. And I discovered the LARP community, and they gave me friends, and they gave me a hobby, and you know, a place to go and express myself. Like I found that overacting my anxiety in LARP, like having a fake panic attack and 
screaming at the top of my lungs while lying on the floor staring at the sky. Like, that really helped me get over <laughs> yeah. real anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I do that in the house all the time, actually. It um, works for me. Just lie on the floor, scream at the sky. It, uh, it works yeah. great, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, it's funny for everyone else. So it, it, it's exactly. a win-win. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm amazed that, uh, sorry, right right now, I don't know if you can hear it over the audio, my neighbours have decided that right now, at this point, is the time that they're going to drill holes in their wall. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear nothing. So. Yeah, excellent. No, you're good. We can hear it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All I can hear is my face. What are they trying to get? Because you've got really thick, bloody stone walls here. <laughs> like, oh, oh just God. hang the picture already, for Christ's sakes. You know, but... Uh, <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. People. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, Rob, you, you you put in there how they operate. <laughs> you didn't yeah. elaborate there, but yeah, I'm just wondering what what, what the, how you decide what topic to talk, but more importantly, how you actually go through making a video, what your sort of process is, and because uh, yeah, it's just how do you how do you actually construct your videos? What what do you go through? Well, um. It started with just me writing out just this large nebulous list of of about 50 75 video topics that I could that I just thought from off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we pick from those and sometimes we we pick a topic that's either going to be able to be done quickly or that someone has requested that we yep. do soon like character creation was not on the roster really. I don't know why. It seems like an obvious one, but people have been asking for that, so we're probably gonna come out with a character creation video soon. Yeah, yeah. That's um, Go on. Yeah. As far as writing the videos, if if there's a lot of research involved, I'm so bad at that. I enlist help for research, and then I I look up my own sources too, and I basically translate it into shy speak. <laughs> <laughs> and, into um, in, into the language of Cheyenne. Yes. It, yeah. it is a. It is a language. Um, <laughs> and honestly, I just, sometimes I'll have a beer <laughs> and then I'll sit in front of the camera and I'll just say it one line at a time. And, yep. and then it's, you know, really Anthony who makes the magic after that. It takes, it can take a lot of buildup of mental preparation for me to get in front of the camera. <laughs> right. So I drag out the writing part for as long as I can. <laughs> 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 it's not that I'm camera shy or anything. It's just like, it commands a lot of energy to to be in front of a camera. <laughs> oh well, so. yeah. I mean, I I can completely, utterly understand and empathise with that. Yeah. Um. So, so Anthony, how much work do you actually have to do with these videos <laughs> <laughs> to get into the final? Yeah. <laughs> Um, sometimes I go on tangents and sometimes I just sit there for a couple minutes just talking to Anthony. Like, I'm sorry, Anthony, um, but I'm going to talk about my feelings for a second here yeah i generally <laughs> ask her to say everything twice too which is yes <laughs> uh, is now a phrase that i say in my life <laughs> but uh i would say our discussion videos i can generally get those together in about a full day i mean like, yeah. like an eight to twelve hour day um but for some of the more complicated tutorials those can take up to like three or four days yeah, yeah. Um, depending oh. on how long it was because some of the processes take multiple days to actually shoot in general so we generally have the camera rolling almost the whole time because mm -hmm. of whatever so time lapsing it getting it all down and then doing audio passes color corrections voiceovers all those kinds of things those yeah. take some time yeah because uh, you know I, I i will say that the the, the videos do absolutely look stunning yeah. Um, when they when they come out the other end, you know, and you know, and and, and I know a friend of ours, Andrew Diamond, uh, owns a company over here that does all of that malarkey, uh, the same as you're doing. And I and I know when he's had stuff from the BBC that come in that has been filmed over a day, where the cameraman has just been the most laziest ass on the planet and hasn't color corrected for Our anything. So lazy, <laughs> <laughs> you know, haven't color corrected for anything. No, he's, <laughs> There's no one there. It's just we set yeah. it to focus, and we're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and and then he's he's got to sit there then and, and make all of all of the entire one shot look as though it was shot over ten minutes rather than the entire day. Oh, yeah, know? and yeah. Uh, and you can you can see him going like bloody cameraman, bloody was like a frozen. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I uh, I look at our, our our clock and our I have a, a runtime because I throw it all yeah. up 
initial thing, and it's like, you have 12 hours. I'm like, all right, got to get down to 10 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No yeah. We, hours, 10 minutes. we know that when we've been editing stuff, and I go, like, all right, uh, this is actually a, a three minute short. Oh, I have three hours um, of stuff. Crap. Uh, <laughs> let's just pick the, the best. But no, best. It's fun, and I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, yeah and your, your After I had filmed um, the the episode where I talked about my anxiety, so it was like not like nerve wracking, but it was just it was an episode that I had to mentally prepare a lot for, mm-hmm. and. And I finally was done with it, and I went to the other room, and then a couple hours later, Anthony kind of bursts in and said, Cheyenne, there's a problem with the footage. Like, oh my god, we lost it all. We lost it. I have to do this. Oh my god. We don't have time for this. And he goes, the footage is slightly out of focus. <laughs> I was like, it's YouTube. Who cares, Anthony? <laughs> I was like... He's, he's a perfectionist, and it's wonderful. <laughs> but 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 look, you know, if if you've if you've got your freckles on, we want to see each and every single fresh and freckle exactly. in high it's, definition. It's all it's... HD now. It's got to be HD. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. so so I I can empathise. Actually, there there is there has certainly been certain shows where I've gone stuff it. That will do. I just want to go to freaking bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If they don't like it, they can skip to the next one. <laughs> so, so I do empathise with that. <laughs> but um, are, are you actually okay with mentioning who your granddad uh, is there, Anthony? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Sure. Uh, just yeah. The whole thing, I guess. Yeah, my, my grandfather is uh, Donald Belisario, who maker of things like Magnum P.I. and Quantum Leap and JAG and NCIS. Um, I, yeah. and going that way, my aunt, she's uh, Troy, and she's on Pretty Little Liars and stuff like that, too. I mean, I, I grew up in a history of, of film and entertainment family stuff, so, I mean, that's it's what we do. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. in the blood. Yes, yeah, you know. It's in the blood. How we do it, <laughs> you know. So, so, so you definitely have the best resources, you know, to your hand, you know, when yeah. when you get and stuck. Yeah, I mean, I could. I we haven't had to do it on this show yet, but I mean, yet. <laughs> Did I hear yet? Then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Granddad, how do I? Uh... <laughs> yeah. They all got their own things going, so we all just we all do our thing. That's mm-hmm. that's what I'm. I'm generally a professional assistant editor in film and television in general, or uh, yes, general. <laughs> in real life, in real life, in real life. there's a so, real life. Don't tell the wife. Um. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just what we do, and we have fun entertaining the world. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's that's exactly what we try to do as well. Well, actually, mm-hmm. we actually try to entertain ourselves. If it entertains other people, that's a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Secondary One of the things I always say when we go through the tutorials is, if I don't know how to do it by the end of the tutorial, then we have to start over. Yeah. Because yeah. I <laughs> no, I I completely agree, and, and I, I you know I know Rob teaches, I teach every now and then, you know, yeah. um, yeah, if if if. Rob many times passes things by me. Stu, I want to teach you this. Rob, I really have to. I just need to teach you this. Okay, just teach me this. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. Excellent. Yay! You know. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and then and then we move on. But um, so so yeah, I, I I completely understand. You know, understand where you're coming from. Um, the best litmus test for me is teaching my dad. If my dad gets it at the end than anybody can and that's no slight to my dad if you are actually watching pa <laughs> um i love you dearly and uh, and can i come over for sunday dinner uh, <laughs> but apart apart from that i mean so um i've got a little note here because i obviously haven't seen this one yet remember the unicorn onesie Oh! <laughs> Tell us about the unicorn onesie there, Cheyenne. Well, um, I got it for Christmas a couple of years ago, and I, I have a unicorn thing. I love unicorns. I have about eight stuffed unicorns, and whenever I am interested in a new LARP game, the first question I ask the game designers is, are there unicorns in this universe? <laughs> <laughs> um, if there aren't, then I don't, I don't even want to know you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> then, then who are you and get out of my sight? <laughs> and it does not get that cold in California, so I figured I don't have to buy real winter gear for sleeping. And yeah. I was mistaken. It's a desert. It's a desert with mountains. It gets freezing at night. And yeah. I had my unicorn onesie, you know, just in case with me one time. And I put it on and I was sweating. And I, <laughs> I have never... I've never gone camping without it since. It has kept me warm, and I, I, I was never cold again. See the power of the unicorn. unicorn. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> actually, that's one thing we forget about California. We all see it as California being a very warm, hot place, but that's actually not, not entirely true, is it? Uh, well, it is during the day. Yeah. It, yeah, it is during the day, but not when you're 5,000 at 5,000 feet elevation in yeah. the winter at night. Oh, that, that'll be cold, yeah. 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 That sounds cold. <laughs> That'll do it. That's that's pretty much where I live, or it feels like it sometimes, anyway. Not quite that high. <laughs> no, it's not quite that high, but it feels like it. Um, especially when my wife goes, why are you putting the heating on? Uh, I'm sure my wife's half Eskimo, by the way, just to let you know. Uh, she doesn't like the heat at all. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Anybody, anybody that comes around the house always asks me, is the heating broken against you? <laughs> no, it's just not on. Uh, well, I'm from Florida, and then I moved to California, so I I I am heat acclimated, man. Yeah, but I prefer the cold. It's been a rough life. Uh, 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 yeah. Do you ever come over to Europe for a lap? You're gonna have to wrap up warm. Oh, I'm... it's gonna be a. Oh yeah. All the I'm yeah. <laughs> You might have to laugh in the unicorn onesie. My costume. <laughs> yeah, you might have to, you might have to wear the unicorn onesie underneath the the, the costume. <laughs> really? Because uh, I because some larps you they have night raids and and I just told the game designer because my character dual wields axes uh-huh. in that game. I said I'm just warning you if you attack us in the middle of the night there will be a pink and white unicorn dual wielding. And D- and I and I will call my armor defenses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I would pay money because to that see that. Because that could count. Uh, Anthony, you you so have to make that video. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. That? <laughs> you have to make you have to make oh, the okay. unicorn dual wielding axes video. Yeah. I think <laughs> for the, the, the world yeah, needs it. Video. <laughs> <laughs> the world needs it. Well, if the world needs it, then I must oblige. <laughs> In a good setting. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I'm just looking over some of the, the the points and what have you now. Da, 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 da. Rob, you just you just typed history. I mean, uh, I think we t- I think you talked about that. We're asking mm. about sort of a little bit about the history of how your games all come together. I think we've been chatting about that a little bit anyway. So. Yeah, I so I think that's come through fair and actually that's great. So, do you two run games, or do you just or, or do you attend games? What, what's what's the score? I I staff a lot of games. I play in two. Well, I play in three, but one only runs maybe once a year. I play in two games, and I staff a lot of other games, uh, doing makeup and NPCing. Um, there's one in particular that I am a regular for, and I I am in charge of visuals for the entire game um okay. i usually don't run mods um i tried once it, w- it wasn't great <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah i think anthony for now he's npc'd a lot too um that he plays we actually met um in dying kingdoms in probably one of the bigger larps down here okay yeah yeah so it, it's it's a mix you know you can't you can't say you've experienced all of LARP without without being on both ends. Yeah, I've been, oh, yeah. I've been oh, yeah. doing a see thing to check out a various. There's a bunch of LARPs in this particular area, so I've yeah. been checking out everything from like Star Trek style LARPs to uh, the fantasy buffer LARPs mm-hmm. to yeah. all the different kinds of things. And I play primarily in two. I'm NPCing right now in one, and then uh, playing a ma- regular character in the other, which okay. is um, a barbarian mute. Which yeah. is pretty hilarious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oddly enough, we know all about that, don't we, Rob? <laughs> uh, I yeah, <laughs> you had Stu Van, Stu Van, a mute deaf character for a long time. Yeah, um, mute, mute, and, mute, and, yeah, experience. mute and deaf, um, an incredibly skilled uh, assassin <laughs> that was mute deaf. Uh, had a translator. Had a translator, yeah, <laughs> which was um, our friend Luke. 
uh, who basically he could say whatever the hell he liked, um, and I couldn't really sort of say I didn't I didn't say that. Oh no, so, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I got so, one of those no, Luke. So he could make up any old shit that he wanted to that I had basically signed to him in our own special sign that nobody knew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh god, he got me into lots of trouble, the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but simple things like uh, we were we were guards on the gate of one particular camp. Uh, they put me, me and him because I think they just wanted to laugh more than anything else. Uh, and uh, there had to be a passcode to get back in, so we had a, a bunch of Italian guys over, um, and. <laughs> So Luke basically told him to go to me to tell me the passphrase for what they would use when they got back in. Uh, and it ended up being a 10 minute um, comedy session with this guy just not getting the sheer fact that I was deaf. Uh, <laughs> it was absolutely genius. Um, but yeah, so I, I played a character called Silent Bob. Uh, for for, oh. for 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 some time, yeah. Uh, was supposed to be a throwaway character, lasted about seven years uh, <laughs> <laughs> before I finally retired him. Isn't that always the way with throwaways? <laughs> oh yeah, isn't it? Isn't, isn't it just like, oh, do we just use this character for the one game and it'll be killed off? No. Yeah. Seven and the years ones later. you want to keep die within five minutes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just say hello to Celine in the oh, chat. He's... Yes, yes, your your girlfriend's in there. We're all saying hello to her, uh, Tom. Right, just, just, you're not just you're in trouble just, again. Just let you know. um, <laughs> so that's fine. Da, 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 da. Right. So, um, is there anything? Any questions that I tell you? What, any questions that have you got for us? Bearing in mind, we're all over in the UK. Um. Okay, so we hear all the time that that um just just like silly things. Well, silly meaning inconsequential. Um. Okay. Do you guys really like? How big is your average LARP? Ours is, ours can be up to like seventy people, but it seems like you guys get a lot more. Oh, I, I was very in size a lot. Mm. Yeah, it can be. It can be. I, I I would say the average size is thirty to forty five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's close. That's closer to truth for us too. But yeah, yeah. Just like on the bigger end, when you see pictures of European LARP, you see like just hordes of people in beautiful costumes with beautiful <laughs> tents. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. Skinning their own food, like it's. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no. There's the camp, and then there's like thousands of people along yeah. the ridge line. Yeah. Just... yeah. I don't know what it is. The average game, especially club games, is sort of 30 to 40, 45 people. But there are, uh, we have fest games. Yeah. And fest games, um, there's, there's about a small fest game in the UK is about 800 players. The large ones are, are several thousand. Yeah. And they and these go on and maybe. The big ones happen about once a year, but they have smaller meetups, maybe three or four times a year. So, so then you're getting into the hundreds of hundreds, hundreds of players or a couple of thousand players. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. wow. And then the European LARP, especially the German ones, get their, their bigger again. We really sort of less up after their size because they have maybe double that many players. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But they, again, oh, they only meet up once or twice a year. So these are, like, most of the time, we've got a small club LARPs, not many players, but every now and again, there are huge festivals festival laps which are really big yeah the 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 the, ah. the 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 festival laps they're predominantly i suppose run over our bank holiday weekend which is um mm. uh, at the end of august uh so it's us usually and he says tongue in cheek cheek the hottest part of of the year <coughs> for britain um when i say tongue in cheek <laughs> this is britain uh you know <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. If it's going to it rain, rain, it's yeah. a good day. Yeah. <laughs> if okay. if it hasn't rained, you haven't woken up yet, and you're still in the dream. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah I don't even think my tent is waterproof right now. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> then, then you would get uh, very slightly um, damp. Uh, damp in the in, in in the UK, most definitely, because mm. uh, we have to we have to proof ours to uh, monsoon. Uh, level 
Yeah, right. Sounds we, we're, exciting, at the very least. <laughs> yeah. I have a question about frequency. Um, cool. Do you guys, for the smaller clubs, do they meet like once a month, or do they meet more frequently than that? Or less. Or less. Oh, that depends. Again, um, yeah. The club I play with the most maybe puts on three or four games, maybe five. No, maybe up to three or four games a year. But the club I sort of I started uh, monstering and NPCing for, mm-hmm. they put on four or five weekend games a year. But they have at least one game. No, they have at least two small day events every, every month. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it works here too. Yeah. 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 It usually goes a camper and then a day game and then tabletop games and then another camper and it yeah. cycles like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's. I think that that side of it is 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 pretty par for the course, you know, just about yeah. everywhere. Um, the only ones that do some sort of very very special ones, I suppose, are are some of uh, Klaus's games and, and what have you, where they they run over a, a week and you know things like that. Um, oh. You know, five five full days um, of, oh my God. of laughing. The closest game, 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Couldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you but are. They, they... Ah, you are doing that. You are doing that. Yeah, because we are you're, going. In November, you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, remember? Hmm? Poland. Our game. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they do normally have rooms or areas that you can, like, pop out to to not be in character. Yeah. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, escape rooms are great. Yeah, because I need an escape room. <laughs> I tell you now, because uh, keeping in character, um, I'm not a method actor, uh, etc. Yeah. <laughs> at some at some point, I'm going to want to ask someone, "Have you heard the Star Trek's coming back?" You know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for me, I have a character who's pretty much like a wild girl from the woods, and she does not like to bathe. I couldn't pull that off for five days. No. Wow. <laughs> well, you could, just nobody would come near you. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Almost every site we get that we do camping always has showers and stuff, too. Yeah. Which yeah. I think that was yeah. kind of nice. Well, I mean, if not showers, then... Like the fully functional restroom, at least. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. To be honest with you, t- <laughs> yeah. The- Do you have uh, like Western themed LARPs ever? I mean, we have like Arthurian LARPs here, and that's kind of like a big deal. People are uh, put on their, their best English accent. <laughs> <laughs> Can we uh, hear your yeah, best English accent? Yeah, let's. Oh, oh what, what would I say? Um, I don't yeah. even know of an English thing to say. <laughs> how, about- how, about, how would you like a lovely cup of tea? How'd you like a lovely cup of tea? That's pretty that's good. That's actually, really that good. Is, actually, that that's is really, really good. good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, no. Uh, and, you, Anthony? And, you do, and, uh, and, and Anthony, come on. How'd you like a lovely cup of tea? <laughs> that's, uh, that's more <laughs> cockney, that, that is. That, 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 sound, that sounded a bit more Austin Powers, though, didn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I like <laughs> it. Okay. I think that's really good. <laughs> That was almost like, like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you ever want to get the English accent down pat, all you've got to do is practice Stewie from uh, Family Guy. Really? Um, oh yeah, just just practice really? practice Stewie, and you will be quids in. <laughs> oh. Simple as that, because he is the epitome, the, the epitome I say of of the English accent. <laughs> I love um, it. But with West, I I've never seen a Western. But Rob did. Well, yes, we do. Well, actually, we do. Uh, Fear the Dark did a Western game a couple of years ago. But there's a regular group. We 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 actually have a one reenactment Western town in the UK, what? which is a sort of a frontier. There's one the frontier town which is used by a couple of groups. I'm just trying to rack my brain. Up I didn't even one, know that. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Deadwood. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. oh cool. Is it based off like the HBO Deadwood kind of? Um, I, I think it just took the name because everybody heard of it. I think yeah. the TV show took it from the lap. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Def- yeah. From 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 the area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There is a game called uh, Don't Hitch- Mind Hiker? Fail Hiker? Me Now. Hiker. No, Hiker? no, 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 no. There's a big game that runs fairly regularly. A couple of friends, a couple of old friends of mine playing it. I mean, I haven't seen it myself yet but uh oh what's it called oh it's just so annoying 
Okay, well, okay. well, while oh. while you're thinking about that, then it's I think it's I think it's time to make um, Tom squeal like a little girl. Come on, yeah, um, you got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I will try and figure out the name. Uh, oh, here we go. The game's called The Good, The Bad, and The Dead. The Good, oh. the, good oh. the, the Good, The Bad, and The Dead. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> the, the, the way he's got to run in it. Uh, so let's yeah. let's make Tom squeal like a little girl. Um, Come on then. Free the Dark's coming back, bud. And they got four games planned this year. You are definitely going to one of them. He didn't squeal, but the the face said it all. We need to get some information. One, when? Yes, I'll get all of that to you. Oh, okay, okay. So you're not doing it now? No, no. It's oh. they they're all oh. in the works. There's four coming oh, this my, year. Oh, um, now, uh, <laughs> don't worry. We'll be putting them all up on the site and the podcast and everywhere and dragging you along. <laughs> yeah, too right. Okay. Yeah, so so she and Anthony, uh, F- Fear the Dark, um, is run by a group of our friends over here, um, and uh, running them for how old are we now, Rob? <laughs> Yo, but these these games started in in the nineties. Yeah, um, so they've been running for for a very long time. Uh, a lot of them based around modern day horror. The majority of them are psychological in nature. Uh, oh, oh, rather, wonderful. rather than gore fest, we do gore fest as well. But um, you know, rather than just the zombies uh, and what have you, zombies, zombies. Um, so Nothing like a good existential crisis, mm. good mark, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. and uh, and we discovered uh, as time went on, we started to get too too good at them. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you make when you make two very big burly marines run away screaming like little girls uh you know you've probably hit the sweet spot <laughs> <laughs> i like that measure of test yeah 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 that's how tested can we make, can we make marines cry or can we make people run so fast they can't breathe yeah yes. done that too um so, <laughs> so so yes just so that that's for you tom fear the dark is returning um oh. And, I didn't get uh, you anything. <laughs> we've been te- sorry, Jan and, Rick, and Auntie, we've been teasing Tom about this game because it's been offline for uh, quite a number of years now. But uh, we've years, all got yeah. some very special memories of it. Yeah, I mean, because uh, I've only um, I've been lapping for about uh, three years I know. So yeah. I'm, in a sense, I'm but to, compared to those guys, I'm relatively new to lap, and they constantly told me about all these stories of Fear the Dark <laughs> and these horror things and how good it was, and I was just there going, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And this could be boring. It, it's the thing that got. It was the first game I played in, and on on the first game it was a it was a horror spy event, set just after the or during the first of the first of um first Gulf War. Yeah. And uh, I remember towards the end of the game things were getting very tense, and somebody came running at me and tackled me from the shoulders. And I threw them over my uh, over my shoulders onto the ground, and we both rolled and came up with guns pointing each other's heads and started shooting. <laughs> and at that point, I went, "I love laugh." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a movie. <laughs> it was yeah. one of the best scenes I've ever seen. It, really, it was. It, it really did play out that way. Yeah. Yeah. It really, it really did play out that way. If 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 we'd had cameras, we'd have had to go on slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a question actually about that. A lot of our LARPs here. Um, they don't allow person to person touching. You have to use a weapon to touch anything or a spell packet to touch someone else. Unless or you, you have to get consent beforehand. Yeah, consent, mm-hmm. like permission. You have to tell them what you're doing, which, yep. unless you have like some sort of repertoire with the person. Yeah. Yep. And then it's like questionable. But yep. like doing like a full blown tackle like that, like I wouldn't normally see something like that because you'd have to pause combat and then say, like, you okay if I tackle yeah. you? Like, yeah. Over here, I don't think you would normally see that anyway. No, we've, it's, it's pretty much this. Oh, I don't know, actually. Well, the ones I go to, you you never really do yeah. that unless you know the person, like, really right. well. Yeah. Really well. I mean, yes, Stu's you, sometimes does things throwing me around, which would never, ever, ever normally happen anywhere, but just we know each other so well, we trust each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. No, this, this, I think what it is, is when we, we start, this is going back into the 90s, and things were a lot looser back then. Yeah, um, there was no uh, such thing as health and safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was, it was, it was, it was safe. 
ish. <laughs> but over the years, I think we've ever come to realize that, yes, in the right circumstances, in the right place, with the right people, it can really work. Yeah, definitely. Generally, we, everybody is, has increasingly shied away from the physical contact in case it goes badly wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. Because it can be intimidating and it can be dangerous. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I think, I, I, think mean... I was kind of lucky to be playing in the time when that wasn't, con- at least in this country, it wasn't so important on smaller events. Yeah, mm. I mean, if, if 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 you think about it, I mean, yeah, back back in the nineties or what have you, uh, it was it was pretty much a, still a very fledgling um, new thing anyway. Uh, but um, Rob and I have known each other now for x amount of years. Uh, <laughs> shh, don't tell anybody. And um, and yeah, we know. I I know that Rob can actually physically pick me up and throw me like a rag doll if he needs to yeah uh because we did that we did that we did that for a star trek larp we did that that's a great star trek larp we did a, we did a choreographed fight sequence yeah we did a choreographed fight sequence where, where rob was actually playing noonian uh khan of course you know um uh khan you know and um wonderful yeah, and a lot of makeup. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I'm I was getting slightly worried about this fear of the dark thing. Now, <laughs> just to toss in and throw in, and you know. And Look, I was. Worry, so it, it's perfectly safe. We have never ever picked some dip and locked them in a coffin. Honestly. No, no, we I have. You're lying we, now. we we have done that, Rob. <laughs> we have done that, Rob. <laughs> yeah, we have actually. Yeah. Spike from Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all I'm going to say is that this group is fine. They're safe. They know what they're doing. Yep. They don't happen to have a flat pack coffin that goes the tours around with them. They don't. Okay, they do. <laughs> <laughs> we have flat pack coffins. We have uh, an- anything that you could possibly need for any horror genre that you could think of, oh. including cool. the, including the zombies. <laughs> so yeah. So um. So Anthony and uh, you know, Cheyenne, are you uh, coming over for Fear of the Dark? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, sure we could get you in, like, um, I don't know, um, a barrel. You can go across the ocean like that. Right? I know. <laughs> you need a really big a, barrel. Travel like, travel like Tolkien's dwarves. I'm, di- I'm good. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorted. Yeah. We, w- you know, we, we, we will arrange something. I don't know how, I don't know where, I don't know when, but we will arrange something. Because th- <laughs> this, is, this is the one thing that we actually want to do in the future anyway, is we want to try to go and visit some LARPs in different countries, which is why we're right. doing the one in November anyway with Klaus. I've always got to say it like that. Okay. It's, it's just my thing. Um, <laughs> um, so we're going over there in November to do the Polish LARP. Yeah. Uh, I think that one is, um, Downton Abbey clone ripoff. Yes. Yeah, the that's Downton Abbey that's one. The Downton yeah. Abbey game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing, we're doing that. Um, We'd love to come over to the States to try something over there. We'd love to, you know, eventually try and tour the world quietly and do laps. And yeah. we were, we're looking at the same thing. Excellent. First starting in the States and then moving out maybe into yeah. Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it so. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, uh, should you need any information of any laps that are happening over here, just give us a bell, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Pick up the phone, pick up the Skype, whatever. Yeah. Ask us. We'll we'll find you the information. Not a problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so that's kind of that sort of thing. Uh, any other questions? Uh, ooh, okay. What are your favorite LARPs? Your absolute go to whenever you want to go to LARP? Um, like genre or specific games? Take your pick. Games. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, you could plug the living hell out of a particular LARP if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my favorite game that I play is Dying Kingdoms. It's it's the one that I've talked about. Like, my character on the show, Petra, is from. Um, that's that's the first LARP I ever NPC'd. They're probably... They're one of the biggest non-franchise games in Southern California. And okay. it's, it's just really kind of unique they have i mean you've got your standard like lizard people stone people like all that stuff but you also have um just these really unique cultures and and the community is just wonderful um dying kingdoms is is my larp where i play a feral magical little girl in full plate armor 
happens every day. I love that. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Every day <laughs> happens over here. <laughs> I'm I'm on the same boat with that as well. Um, it's the first game I started playing, and I really like it too because it has a, a retirement system. So you can't really play a character too high, and you have super overpowered yeah. people. So everybody's kind of on yeah. the same level. Oh, good, um, yeah. And in that character, I'm playing the a sort of Scottish based barbarian, so kilts and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, oh my! <laughs> thing, which is great. And, you don't uh, say anything. <laughs> so so you you. Yeah. Do- Make up for his silence. My yeah. character is constantly talking and or screaming. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I make lots of armors and weapons and things. Oh, yeah. Please. So I, I'm I'm just disappointed that you don't even try to affect a Scottish accent, even if it is just well, Sean Connery's. <laughs> I, the last game I tried reading a poem as a mute character, and that was interesting. <laughs> everybody, everybody, I've been playing the game for them like about a year or so, and no one had ever heard me say anything. Yeah in character like that and when i actually tried reading it i read it you know like ah, you know like without just syllables <laughs> mm-hmm. and everybody was laughing just yeah yeah set they were like so sad they were just like <sighs> oh we 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 staged we staged three th- four probably 100 things um <laughs> with with silent bob uh similarly where uh, a, a spear were pretended to go through my foot and I was just basically holding my foot, screaming into the air, but nothing's coming out. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the um, we went to. I think probably the most genius one was the the in-game brothel. Okay. Oh, dude. It wasn't. Oh. It wasn't actually a brothel, as you can probably imagine, because uh, it's this. You know, it's a it's a, f- a family-run event, etc. But they do give you a nice sort of back rub. You know, that that sort of thing. Uh, but Luke, Luke was. <laughs> I know what's coming. I got a great story about yeah. something like this cool. Too. Luke, Luke was Luke was my voice, of course. Yeah, so I just had to sit there with a very placid, um, nondescript face. So yeah. kind of, yeah, huh. just like just just completely non, Complete you know, no emotion yeah. Yeah. at all. About it. Yeah, maybe the odd sigh, right? But that was about <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, while while Luke was doing things like, oh yes, oh yes. That's it. You've got the spot right there. And uh, the girl was laughing so hard, right, uh, that was trying to do this. And in the end, she couldn't carry on when he said, that's right, ride me like a puppy. (laughs) (laughs) She was gone. She could not continue. (laughs) So I missed out on a 15-minute back rub, which I was really pissed off about. It lasted about two minutes. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I would have cried. I would have cried. <laughs> a lot of people did. Yeah, people people were crowding around the tent. They wonder what the hell was going on. Um, so, so Anthony, what's what, what's your story then? All right. Mm. So there was, I was. We had gone on this mod to rescue this guild member who was going to get assassinated at this brothel. Yeah. And when we came back, I was standing there in this under this like canopy talking to another mute. Okay. <laughs> So what, our conversation is is a is a mixture of, of hand signals and facial expressions and gestures, but also we have literacy, so we're writing in books and passing them back and forth to each other. Yeah. And yeah. this guy, who I don't think had played in a game before, comes in as an NPC and just starts. He's a fisherman in the village, and he's just flavoring whatever. And he comes over and tries to start a conversation with the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing he wants most is how to get to the brothel okay okay so i'm trying to like tell him we're both trying to tell him that the brothel is like this way but there's a group of women between us and where the mod was so we're like go around go, like, yeah like you're trying to whatever and he keeps thinking we're talking about these women like they're the women from the brothel <laughs> and, uh, and he's talking and we're just we're just kind of like oh uh, you know and he ends up calling one of the women over <laughs> <laughs> assuming that she's one of the ladies of the house and uh the woman she comes over and she's just like can i help you and he's like yeah i'm looking for a good time ta- you know like this <laughs> that, doing the whole thing and um she just goes right into it like like as if she actually was working <laughs> and she starts like moving up and like in a seductive way towards him you know like getting closer and, and this and that until finally she's like 
are you interested in a good time? Right. And <laughs> just like, uh, and she's like permission for physical role play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't, oh, I'm not comfortable with that. And she goes, good. And then she says, slaps him and then turns and walks, like, slaps his hands and then turns and walks away. <laughs> Genius. That's brilliant. Genius. I love it. I and love he never it. went to laugh again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> he said stuff it, I'm going back there. Uh, excellent. Um, any other questions you want to ask, guys? Anything at all? Oh, I uh, think I'm good. Not not that I can think of right now. I'm sure I'm going to think of ten in f- Five like minutes. ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hey, we're on okay. we're on Skype. You've got me on Skype. Every every now and then I go on on that one and what have you. Um, if you want to swap details afterwards for for other stuff as well, not a problem. Yeah, we'll we'll do, we'll do that. Sure. But we'll 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 get out out of the show first. So if that's everything, which I think it is, yeah, I do believe. Um, so if you want to, oh no, 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 it's not everything because you haven't no. plugged the hell out of yourself yet. So, oh, where okay. can people please, please, find on. you and what you do? Right. Well, um, we are LARP House on Facebook, and we are The LARP House on Twitter and Instagram, and we're on Tumblr as The LARP House. I mean, we're we're everywhere. Just and, we LARP House. and we have an Etsy store. And we have an Etsy store. The LARP House on Etsy, where we sell prosthetics and some equipment to make your own prosthetics and masks and horns and stuff, and they're all handmade by me. And well, mostly me and um, my—I don't know what to call her. My assistant, my other artist. You call your navigator. My, <laughs> my <big> navigator. <laughs> <laughs> I call myself um, the captain. She's the navigator. <laughs> do you uh, do you ship abroad, or is it just U.S. only? Yes. Yeah, you ship mm-hmm. everywhere. So. Ship and the everywhere. And prosthetics that I make—they're called prosade transfers. They're actually yeah. made out of glue. So they stay on way better, and they're waterproof, and you if you pre-paint them, you can get, like, punched and slapped in the face, and those things will stay. So. Yeah, and they, uh, they take, they're really quick to apply if you pre-painted them and stuff like that, and yeah. uh, they don't require spirit gum. You can use uh, this other stuff, which really? is easy on you. Yeah. Yep. You, all you need to apply them is, uh, like, water and a sponge. And then alcohol to remove them. Mm-hmm. Alcohol, yeah. alcohol removes everything over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean you mean rubbing alcohol, right? Sorry. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent rubbing alcohol. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get that one in. Right. Okay. Then fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, uh, right. Thank you very much for coming yeah. along. Um, and we got an episode coming out a little later today. Yeah. Our time. So maybe it'll be tomorrow. Your time. Not sure. But hey. hey Fantastic. Goodness. So, uh, what's that one called? Spoiler. Uh, how to apply a latex prosthetic. And I, you know, I sell latex prosthetics, so. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ex- <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Rob, we could definitely do with that. Maybe it'll age us less. Yeah, that's okay. Uh. <laughs> right, cool. Excellent. That's, uh, let, let's wrap this show up, I think. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, if you've got any value out of this show, even giggle just the once, why not pop across to Patreon? Uh, Patreon.com forward slash LARPbook and just give a little bit and it goes a long way. Helps us to buy things and do things, etc. We've got a shop also over on Redbubble. Go and get yourself some lovely swag. Uh, you know, some nice t-shirts, mugs, etc. All that up there. You can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch, Podpeen. Just search for LARP book, put it into your favourite podcatcher, and it'll all be there. Should you want to email the show, LARPbookshow at gmail.com. Just call us anytime, not a problem. Send us your news, reviews, whatever you like. Even tell us that we're crap. We'll happily take that too. Uh, the website is LARPbook.com. Lots of stuff up there, constantly going up with different news and articles and clubs, etc. Uh, you can follow us Facebook, Twitter, Google. Just search for LARPbook. It's easy to find us. In fact, we are the number one for LARP news, it would seem, on Google. Um, and don't forget to give us a five-star review on iTunes. Uh, get it over across there, and that will really help us out a lot. So thank you very much, Cheyenne and Anthony, for coming along. Uh, thank you very much, Rob and Tom. No problem. Uh, no okay, problem. Yeah, and I've been Stuart, well, and this has been, this has been the show. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you.